Hi guys, Life of an Englishman here, and uh, what a dramatic change in weather. <clears throat> yep, we've had two or three days of sweltering heat, and now it's just been raining since 8 o'clock this morning. Well, actually before 8 o'clock. Um, and oddly enough, the... Um, guy that was going to do my shed door has actually turned up and has been doing my door in this weather um, I've looked down at well I can see a door screwed up I don't know if he's finished it yet his bench was in front of the door so I guess not as it's sort of what's the time it's 10 to 1 in the afternoon so he's probably on a lunch break I don't blame him anyway my brother asked me to build him a temporary PC till he can get his sorted out his um, gaming rig sorted out so I actually gave him a choice of motherboards I've had two gigabyte motherboards one with an Intel dual core 2.8 gigahertz and the other one had an AMD Athlon 2 at 2.9 gigahertz dual core both ran run DDR2 memory um, but all I've got spare is a 4 gigabyte set I don't actually have any bigger bigger memory sticks than 2 gigabytes so it's two, two, 2 gigabyte memory sticks in here that make up the 4 gigs um, the other one that's actually maxed out this motherboard by the way but the other one, the A AMD gigabyte motherboard, that can take up to 8 gigabytes, but I just don't have an 8 gigabyte kit. Because for some reason, a lot of motherboards, especially these, well, I suppose these are the cheaper end of their range, only have two memory slots, unless that's why they are cheaper. I don't know, right, anyway. I've got to get this screwed in, and I think... I'm going to opt for Windows 7 just because the video card he wants me to fit and the Wi-Fi card I think will um, work better with Windows 7 anyway it gives me less of a headache um, when I could install it all and then run a Windows 10 upgrade and see what happens uh, for now, it's got to be cooler. Look, I've got a t shirt on. <laughs> no belly on show today. That's probably probably a relief to most. So, that screw doesn't fit. Right, I've got to find some screws to fit into the motherboard. I've just tipped me pot out, so I'll probably regret that now. He actually told me he wants it to light up. He wants it to be colourful and lit up. Yeah. <laughs> I am very tempted to go and do something to actually make him regret telling me to do that. <laughs> I haven't actually decided what to do. I want to do something silly that obviously won't damage the PC. And those. Oh, I actually thought I had a little tub of screws I use for motherboards, but they're not there. Um, I'm just waiting for the guy to uh, finish my door, and he said he was going to pop up and uh, or ring the buzzer and tell me when he's done. Just a case of trying to find the correct screws. Oh. See you there. This was actually was this a case I was using? I think it was a case I was using at one point. Nope. Uh. 
the screws are found, they are here somewhere. I don't care if the screws match, they've just got to fit the standoffs. It's been a while since I've uh, done a video related to uh, building a PC, isn't it? I think I've got most of what I need out anyway. I may have forgotten the odd one or two things like I normally do. I'm good at doing that. There's a medal to be handed out for um, being forgetful. I think I would win it hands down. wrong screw for that, but never mind, it's gone in. Uh, searchy, searchy. Oop. Found a screw for a fan. We'll get take that out of there. Ooh. Finger screw for the side panel. That'll be handy to put on as well. found a match. Uh, so I've got one there, one there. Ah, there's only two more I need. Or not. I doesn't want to fit that one. But it fits that one. How does that work? Wouldn't fit in the left standoff, but fitted in the right one. Okay, right. We'll try a slightly different screw then. Maybe it's a slightly a different standoff. It is because that one's gone in perfectly. Right. Ah, oh, I forgot some tissue. Hang on. There we go. Do the heat sink next, but I just got to clean off all the old dried up paste. Like so. Make sure these are all in the right position and that they're not broken. They won't go on if they're broken. They will, they just won't latch. One. Make sure they all just drop into the holes fine. And we've got to lock it into place. Push. Push and twist. I had already thermal paste the um, processor, in case anyone was wondering. I've already done that. I've got a head. Right, I'm plugging the case fan as well. And the chassis fan. Uh, hmm. Um... I was just <laughs> trying to find it, that's what I was trying to do. Right, so I've got a Wi-Fi card. I'm actually going to try Windows 10 on this. It's either going to do one or two things, isn't it? It's either going to work or it's going to be a pain in the ass. One or the other. Um, it's going up in his bedroom, so he's got to have Wi-Fi on it. But I have got a couple of options there, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, am I ready to stand this upright? Possibly. Uh, um, 
Oh, I'll leave the extra standoffs in there. Actually, what I've got up this way, I'm going to put all the front panel cables on. What's this one? That's USB. Um, I will connect up the card reader. Which I think is this black one. Just in case. And I will um, do a bit of cable management. Most of the time I don't bother. <laughs> I'm not one to worry about cable management. I should, because when it comes to servicing inside the PC, it's a pain in the backside. I just want to get everything connected to it. So I've got to remember which way around to put these wires now. <laughs> That's power switch. No power switch goes there. No, it doesn't. It goes there. Uh, memory serves correct. Not that we need it, but reset switch goes in front of power switch. Uh, power LED. This is the bit I always get muddled up positive and negative of the LEDs. <laughs> well, if I get it wrong, I can just turn them around. If it's an LED, it won't damage it, it just won't work. I'll drive LED. Because I don't know about anyone else, but I like having LEDs that light up and tell me exactly what the PC is uh, doing. Especially hard drive LED. Fuck, what have I just pulled off? A hard drive LED. <laughs> I'll show you. show you what I've done. I'll worry about cable management in a bit. So, got that on. Got that in. Got all the front panel cables connected. We've got the fan cable connected. That's gonna... Oh, look at that. I can run that up there. That's actually not a bad idea, because that's now out of the way of the video card. Uh, right, the hard drive. Did I bring the hard drive in? Yes, I did. It's over there. Hey, I've got this bundle of shit to sort out next. Um, I need one of these adapters for the video card. Uh, I'll order shortly, actually. Because the video card he wants me to put on requires two of those. Right. Before I do anything else, I'm going to tuck in the 500 gigabyte hard drive, actually. I haven't got any cable ties, so I'm going to have to use PVC tape. Um, that doesn't matter. It's just to tidy up some of these cables. Mm -hmm. In a little while, I'm going to go to QDs and see if they've put any black paint out on their shelf. Uh, I've got a parcel to post. So I've got to go across to the post office later to do that. I'll just keep the wires bundled. That would be a great help, wouldn't it? So if I keep all the power switches, switch and LED wires and whatnot, all bundled together, like so, I've actually bundled a, um, the um, card reader cable with it. Oh well, I don't matter, it's out of the way, isn't it? Right, there was a hard drive, that's what I want to put in. I'm going to put that 
somewhere down close to where the um, fan at the front is going to go. Reason being, the fan at the front is going to be sucking inwards. So that will keep the hard drive cool. I haven't got any more hard drives to put in here. Well, well that's worth it anyway. Right, there's two of those. One optical drive. Super Right Master. DVD. Yep. Yeah. I'll make sure it's a DVD, otherwise I can't install Windows 10. Right. I think. for optical drives the screws are a little smaller. Shall I wind him up and put him a floppy drive on this? <laughs> Even though I know Windows 10 does recognise floppy disk drives. I'm not going to do a bodge job because I do intend to um, take this back and keep it uh, oops, when he's done with it. Then again, I still own cash anyway, so. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know where my SATA cables have gone. <laughs> um, ba -bum -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. I need two. I need one for the hard drive. This is almost ready to go. I just want to install a fan on the front. be a couple of light up fans on the side panel. They're going to be um, small ones. I'm going to like jury rig together and whatnot. Somehow I'll do it properly anyway. Yeah, that'll get done properly. I've got all the proper connectors so Although I don't think I've got any straight through, um, oh yes I have, yes I have, <laughs> uh, one, and two, a couple of these on the fans, that'll be alright, I can put those on, I then just got to find, uh, Stupid things have rolled off. Um, what have I got to find? This has got more Molex cable, um, connectors on this than anything else. I need a light. Have I got a torch anywhere? Nope. Yep. It's <laughs> getting dark up the top here, that's all. Somewhere, I've got a box full of cables. Uh, I've also, I only need one. You only need one SATA cable, not two, because it isn't long enough to reach from the um, optical drive down to the Hujima flip. Hard drive, that's the one I was looking for. Right, buried under here somewhere. Yeah, I know how to look after all my equipment, don't I? <laughs> this is the one he wants on it. And uh, no doubt there'll be some sort of driver support for it, I expect. Right, so I'm put this in next. Um, Try and get the fan wire out of the way. Actually, I'll unplug that just for now. And lift that up out of the way. Got to remove a blanky plate. Snap off one of them.
I would love to get one of those uh, modular power supplies where you can actually, you know, just plug in, plug the wires directly into the power supply so you only use the ones you need. It would also make building the PC a darn sight easier because you won't have all this epoxy wires here in the way. Right, so that goes in. I've just been in the bedroom and I forgot the uh, doodad. Doody daddy. So glad I've got a magnetic screwdriver. Right. Okay, so plug the board cables in. There's the 24 pin. Yeah. This has got two 12 volt connect um, cables for this. Oh, that's going to be a chore. How am I going to get that bastard up there? <laughs> I didn't think of this, did I? to go on there. So I just need to order me. I'll do that now, so hopefully it'll get shipped today. <laughs> if not, it won't be here till Monday, but that's not a problem. Right, eBay. My eBay. I've got several Bricklink orders as well. Uh, I only want the one because I only need the one six pin adapter. Continue. Continue. It's being slow. Confirm and pay. There we go. So, as soon as that arrives, I mean, I could install Windows 10 ready, but I was trying to think, what else have I now got to do? I'd plug the case, the chat. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let's see what I'm doing now. Right, I'm going to tuck all of that up there out of the way. Might need... Yeah, look at this. I need one more. <laughs> Takes a lot of juice. picking up. Yay! Ah. We might have a slight issue <laughs> regarding the wireless card. Um, here it is. I'll take those antennas off. It'll be easier to install it, I think. But, um, there ain't a lot of room. <laughs> there really isn't a lot of room. Right. 
So, let's take the um, three antennas off. I don't think I'm going to use the USB the, um, thingy one. That is far too close to that fan for my liking. They really don't think of this when they design this. Oh my god. It's actually rather close to a lot of things. The problem is, I don't even have any wider cases. Nuts. <laughs> Might just get a power connector in there. Let me just go and get one. I think it's in the kitchen. Might just get the power connector on there. Because I threw a load of adapters and shite in here. Here we go, a lot of adapters and shite. There was one that I threw on the floor earlier as well. That is for a fan. Ah, I'll need that as well then. What we got? There's one there. Single SATA as well, that's what I need. Right. This is going to be tricky. how I do this it ain't gonna go in ah what I can do I can actually do one of two things I need to move the hard drive up or down SATA connectors on the motherboard shouldn't be an issue I think my better bet is to go down one slot like that. Because that way if I go down, the hard drive is still in line with the fan. What do I do with my adapter? Is one adapter. That's what I want the Molex for. Like that. It's so a front fan. And connect. Like that. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm still not sure which 5 inch fan I'm going to use. Now, where's that epoxy? There it is. Well, it cool. That clip on there, so I know I've got another Molex. Mully, mully, Molex. I just realised that one's um, a male connector. How the fuck am I going to connect that? It ain't no bloody good. Get off. 
Right. Oh. It's a USB cable I stood on. I thought I was standing on a SATA cable. I've got a box of bloody wires somewhere. Of SATA cables and shit. I can't find it. I got that. So I could actually plug fan into that. Could butcher in a SATA cable. <laughs> I've got a box somewhere. What's this? There's another fan. Adapter, should I need one? I don't think I will. But it's there. Uh, oh, there's buttons and switches. Not up there. Not up there. Double one for now. I'll go hunting for that box later. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this up and then I'm going to turn the camera off and call it quits. Right. So I'm going to use a double SAR connector. I didn't want to because I don't need it, but I have a choice. Power to the hard drive. So, the last job to do will be to pop the front off. I'm actually got to pull that out while I'm thinking of it. I've got USB Wi Fi. Same company as that TP Link, so I can use that. Right. So, pop this front off. Because, uh, hmm. Cooler Master. for this one I think. This is where it gets tricky. <laughs> Might just get one screw in to hold it. Prevents any rattling around. I don't know about anyone else, but a rattling fan annoys the sheer hell out of me. One more. That's the fan at the front installed. Hopefully, round the right way. grab that, that. that's that fan with power power to the people or in this case power to the fan I'm 
also going to pick up these screws before they go everywhere. Right, apart from these um, fans to go on the side and the SATA cables for the ROM drive and hard drive, it's ready to be installed. He says. <laughs> need to see me install uh, the thingies. I could try that and see how it runs, but I don't know. I'll think on it. Well, that is pretty much assembled. I will um, just sort of do something with that bloody lot. I've got one here that's not in use, so I could really tuck that right up out of the way somewhere. Oh, what cable should be stuffed down there? There we go. Yeah. Well, it's got the main case fans on anyway, so there's a couple in the back that I just want to tighten up. So it'll come a little bit loose and it'll rattle. Head. Right. That is it. I'll uh, do a part two of installing windows and whatnot. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for part two. Bye.